Static VAR compensators SVC are shunt-connected devices used in high-voltage power systems to provide fast-acting reactive power compensation. They play a crucial role in controlling and stabilizing the voltage in electrical grids, especially in systems with large loads and fluctuating power demands. SVCs dynamically manage reactive power in the network, ensuring that voltage levels stay within operational limits and reducing the risk of blackouts or voltage collapse. They are particularly useful in long-distance power transmission and large industrial systems. In modern power systems, maintaining voltage stability and ensuring efficient power transmission are critical challenges. Static VAR compensators SVC are essential solutions designed to provide dynamic reactive power compensation, improving voltage stability and power factor. By quickly adjusting reactive power, SVC helps minimize voltage fluctuations and enhances overall grid reliability. SVC are particu particularly useful in industries with heavy electrical loads, such as manufacturing plants, railways, and renewable energy grids. They play a crucial role in reducing system losses, minimizing power disturbances, and optimizing power quality. Static compensators such as static VAR compensators SVC, static synchronous compensators STATCOM, and hybrid STATCOMs are built on well-established technologies and can be successfully used for solving power quality problems and meeting grid code and energy efficiency requirements for a wide range of segments and applications. They are a high-performance, flexible, compact, modular and cost-effective type of power electronics solutions that provide an instantaneous and effective response in high-voltage electric power systems. They enable longer equipment lifetime, higher process reliability, improved power system capacity and stability, and reduced energy losses, complying with most demanding power quality and energy efficiency standards in grid codes. To properly address factors such as the aging of these solutions and deterioration and wear of parts or devices, operation services like maintenance checkups and equipment diagnosis should be performed regularly together with remote monitoring and analysis. These operation services may foresee risks of increasing failure rate according to electrical and environmental stress, opening the door to renewal services that will address the needs for life extension, technological enhancement, increasing the electrical ratings of the solutions and manage their obsolescence. Renewal services for these solutions improve their reliability, add functionality, secure spare part availability and increase overall performance, bringing older systems closer to the functionality supplied by newer systems. Shunt static compensators were developed and commercialized as an economical solution to deal with all the shortcomings of conventional solutions like capacitor banks, shunt reactors, passive harmonic filters and synchronous condensers, offering a performance independent of the electric power system properties while being able to comply with the real-time requirements of modern loads and generators. Modern shunt static compensators are built on modular multilevel VSC technology or multilevel thyristor valve topology. They can be installed to any point of the high-voltage electric power system in parallel with the equipment that cause problems or need to comply with certain requirements. Over the years, the design of shunt static compensators has been tailored to deliver specific functionalities. They are able to compensate current-based distortions such as current harmonics and current unbalances, and voltage-based distortions such as voltage harmonics, voltage fluctuations, voltage variations, and volt voltage unbalances. They are able to provide ancillary services like voltage control, reactive power control and fault ride through capability, and they can also support the development of clean energy by power factor correction, power transfer capacity increase and the reduction of the energy losses in the electric power system. How SVC works, at its core, the SVC operates by adjusting the amount of reactive power either absorbing or injecting it to regulate the voltage. The control of reactive power is accomplished by varying the combination of capacitive and inductive elements, controlled via power electronics such as thyristors. Thyristor-controlled reactors TCRs, these reactors absorb reactive power from the network. The thyristor switches regulate how much of the reactor is in the circuit, allowing fine control over how much reactive power is absorbed. By adjusting the conduction angle of the thyristor, the effective inductance can be varied smoothly. Thyristor switched capacitors TSCs, these capacitors inject reactive power into the network. Thyristors can turn the capacitors on and off instantaneously, either injecting or stopping the supply of reactive power based on system demand. Control system, the control system constantly monitors the system voltage and compares it with the reference value. Based on the deviation from the reference, 
The control system decides how much capacitive or inductive reactive power needs to be injected or absorbed. It sends signals to the thyristor controllers to adjust their firing angles. Overall working process, if voltage in the system drops lagging power factor, the SVC injects reactive power using TSCs to raise the voltage back to the nominal value. If voltage rises leading power factor, the SVC absorbs reactive power using TCRs to lower the voltage. Consider a high voltage transmission line in a remote area. Transmission over long distances often causes voltage instability due to the inductive nature of transmission lines. Without reactive power compensation, the voltage at the receiving end of the line could drop significantly, leading to poor power quality, higher losses, or even outages. Components and functionality, thyristors, these semiconductor devices act as switches, controlling the amount of reactive power by determining whether capacitors or reactors are switched into the circuit. The thyristors allow for rapid and seamless switching, ensuring that the SVC can respond quickly to fluctuations in voltage. Capacitors provide capacitive reactive power to the grid, helping to raise voltage levels. They are particularly effective during periods of low voltage or high demand when the power factor becomes lagging. Reactors provide inductive reactive power, absorbing excess reactive power from the system. This helps to reduce voltage levels when they rise above desired levels, such as during low demand or light load conditions. conditions. The control system continuously monitors grid parameters voltage, current, power factor, etc. and adjusts the operation of thyristors in real time to maintain stable voltage and power quality. This ensures fast and accurate compensation. Passive part of SVC, the main components of the passive part are step-up transformer. It enables the use of medium voltage thyristor valves by connecting the medium voltage and the high voltage electric power system. TCR reactors, they provide inductive reactive power by point-on-wave control smooth adjustable output from minimum current to full rated current. They absorb reactive power to decrease system voltage. MSC banks, they are usually tuned filter capacitor banks. They provide capacitive reactive power at fundamental frequency and they absorb the harmonic currents generated by the equipment and the TCR reactors. TSC banks, they provide capacitive reactive power by fast on OFF switching output in blocks, no current or full rated current. They generate reactive power to increase system voltage. Switchgear, circuit breakers, contactors, earthing switches and disconnectors allow connection and maintenance of TCRs, MSCs and TSCs. CTs and VTs are used for the measurement of currents and voltages. Surge arresters protect medium voltage components. Active part of SVC, the main components of the active part are thyristor valves, high-performance valves built on multi-level valve topology using modular light-triggered thyristors LTTs take care of switching the TCR reactors and TSC banks. Cooling system, deionized water system used for cooling the thyristor valves. Control system, real-time operation control of the SVC ins ensuring response to systems requirements. Protection system, real-time protection detecting system faults and abnormalities and disconnecting the SVC from the rest of the electric power system. HMI, monitors SVC condition and communicates with customers SCADA system. Benefits of implementing SVC in electrical networks, voltage regulation, SVCs help maintain system voltage within desired limits by compensating for reactive power imbalances. This helps prevent voltage drops or overvoltages, ensuring stable and reliable operation. Improved power factor, by injecting or absorbing reactive power, SVCs improve the overall power factor of the system, reducing the need for other power factor correction equipment and reducing transmission losses. Increased transmission capacity, SVCs enable more power to be transmitted over long distances by stabilizing voltage levels, allowing transmission lines to operate closer to their maximum capacity without the risk of voltage collapse. System stability, SVCs provide fast response during disturbances or fluctuations, such as faults, sudden load changes, or generator outages, helping to maintain system stability and prevent cascading failures. Dynamic compensation, SVCs offer real-time dynamic compensation, making them ideal for modern power grids where load patterns fluctuate due to renewable energy integration and varying consumer demand. Growing importance of SVC in modern power networks, as the grid evolves with the growing penetration of renewable energy sources like wind and solar, the variability of generation has increased. 
Wind turbines and solar farms produce power that varies with weather conditions, creating sudden changes in voltage and power quality. SVCs are becoming increasingly important in these grids because of their ability to provide fast, dynamic reactive power support. They help stabilize voltage during rapid changes in renewable energy output. Improve the power quality by mitigating harmonics and voltage fluctuations. Allow the integration of more renewable energy into the grid without sacrificing reliability or stability. Advantages of SVC Fast response time, SVCs can react within milliseconds to voltage changes, making them highly effective for dynamic compensation in fluctuating power systems. Voltage control SVCs provide excellent voltage support, maintaining voltage levels within desired limits and preventing instability. Reduce transmission losses by improving the power factor and stabilizing voltage. SVCs reduce transmission losses, increasing the efficiency of power delivery. Increased power transfer capability. SVCs enable more power to be transferred over existing transmission infrastructure by keeping voltage levels stable, effectively increasing the capacity of transmission lines. Disadvantages of SVC, high initial costs, SVCs involve a significant initial investment in terms of equipment, installation, and control systems. Complexity, the control systems of SVCs are complex and require specialized knowledge to install, operate, and maintain. Limited range of reactive power, SVCs provide excellent dynamic reactive power support but are limited in terms of the maximum amount of reactive power they can supply, especially when compared to newer technologies like STATCOM. Maintenance requirements, thyristors and other components require regular maintenance and careful monitoring to ensure reliable operation over time.